Hey, what's up guys? Quentin with Lawn Care Ninja here. Today we're going to be going over my 2022 lawn care setup. For the most part, there is uh, old equipment, but I have picked up a couple new things uh, that hopefully help me out throughout this year. Yeah, let's get to it. All right, so first up, we got the uh, 60 inch Xmark Turf Tracer. This thing has been a rock star for me the past two years. Uh, it cuts really well, it's really fast, uh, real maneuverable in a lot of different situations. Uh, a couple of the yards I have are really big, so it makes quick work of those jobs. Uh, and also in the uh, ones where I can only use it on the front yard, it's been uh, absolute gold for me uh, doing the front yards with this as it does still cut really nice and uh, really fast without tearing up uh, a lot of the turf that you can, you know, sometimes get with a uh, stand on or even a zero turn mower. One of the things that I did over this winter is actually replace the uh, Velke tire on the turf tracer. As you can see, it was uh, starting to crack. And as I was going over it, it was kind of like almost like bouncing me. Uh, this was about 230 bucks, so not cheap, but it's definitely gonna be uh, a better ride on those uh, big jobs. So I'll go ahead and show you the actual new one. You can see just like kind of how like flat it is compared to, uh, you know, it being like rounded like this. Um, so definitely excited to uh, have this new thing on there. As you guys know, with, you know, some of the mowers and the side discharge, you know, you can end up spraying a car, spraying uh, mulch beds, flower beds, even sides of houses and stuff like that. So what I've actually had uh, the past couple of years, the advanced shoot system, while I love this thing because it, you know, blocks the grass from going over. So when I'm out mowing on a yard, I actually have to, you know, power down, put it in neutral, uh, shut off the blade, and then come over here and either lift this up or put it back down. One thing that uh, I'm gonna do new this year, and uh, I actually met this guy at uh, GIE Expo 2021, uh, did an interview with him. His name is Jeremiah, and he came up with the Green Guard. It uses the battery on your mower, and it's a complete automatic shoot control. I'm gonna be installing that this weekend. So keep an eye out in the next, um, I don't know, maybe month or two. I'll actually do a full review on it and let you guys know my thoughts. So as you can see, it comes in, uh, you know, you got wires, you actually have the motor. So this is actually gonna replace this whole advanced shoot system. It does have, it does have uh, plates. There's a rubber one and also a metal one. This is actually the uh, switch that makes it go up and down. And you can actually have this up by where your uh, hand controls are. So you actually don't have to get off the mower. Next we have the Xmark Commercial X-Series. Uh, you guys might know about the review I did of this last year. Wasn't too big of a fan, mainly because of the engine issues I was having, which I've gotten a lot of comments on that video about saying it's a uh, uh, user error. Uh, but my biggest complaint are these uh, deck adjustments down here. This weekend, I actually am going to be drilling a small hole in each of these so I can put a key ring around it and then actually attach like a carabiner so I can easily lift up to change the uh, height. Because when you're doing this, it actually puts a quite a bit of strain on your fingers right there. I'm actually gonna be giving this mower uh, another go around this year. I am looking into getting the Skag SFC 30, I think it is. Um, I've heard good things about it. The front wheels are caster wheels, so it might make turning around quite a bit easier. Once I, you know, start doing some mowing and, you know, generating a little bit more revenue, I'll be buying that and uh, either keeping this as a backup or eventually sell it. Here is the Xmark Starus E 32 inch. I regret making this purchase last year. I've only used it 6.9 hours. That's how much is actually on the machine. Uh, so I am looking into to selling this this year. It has been listed on uh, Craigslist and Nextdoor and Facebook. If you're in the Denver area or uh, you know anyone in the Denver area that's actually looking to uh, buy a machine, send them my way. All right, so next we're gonna go over the uh, blowers that I'm going to be using this year. Uh, obviously, uh, I ended up picking up the uh, Echo 9010 last year and it was a rock star for me doing uh, fall cleanups, especially since I was doing a lot of this stuff uh, solo. Uh, it worked really well, is powerful. 
it's a little bit on the heavy side, but I actually don't mind just because you, you know, you can kind of feel that power when it's on your back. This is the 9010, love it. It's a great blower. However, like I said, I think it's a little bit of an overkill for, you know, just like blowing grass off walks and stuff. So I ended up picking this up the other day, uh, the Echo PB2520. Uh, I used this yesterday for blowing off fertilizer and seed from walks. And uh, it's a nice little blower, nice and light. And, you know, excited to bring this along to hopefully, you know, just make the job a little bit easier. Obviously it's not gonna be as much power. I think it'll work really well this year. So next we have the trimmer that I'm gonna be using. I think I've had this for a year, year and a half. Uh, it's the Echo uh, 2620T. It's been a rock star of a trimmer for me. Uh, handles really well, it's pretty light. The gas tank lasts uh, probably maybe a day, uh, maybe a little bit less than a day, just depending on how uh, full you're pulling that throttle trigger. Probably going to end up picking up another one of these just to have as a backup and, uh, you know, also just end up replacing this one. Uh, so I'll probably end up selling this one uh, towards the middle of the year or even uh, later season and, uh, you know, have that newer one uh, in my arsenal. All right, so next we have the gas cans that I'm gonna be using. The gas can on the left, the bigger one, is uh, just straight gasoline. I use that for all my equipment. The one on the right is for the two-stroke engines. I love these cans. They've worked out really well for me since I've had them uh, in the uh, start of 2020. They're really easy to you know, be able to fill up your equipment. You don't have to worry about uh, things spilling, gas getting all over the gas tank or even in the lawn or your trailer or any of the walks. For my two-stroke oil, I'm actually going to be using uh, this this year. I started using this towards the end of last year. It's the uh, Kawasaki K-Tech blend two cycle engine oil. I heard good things about this. It is synthetic uh, with uh, stabilizers in it. So I definitely think this is probably gonna be the way to go because I've heard a lot of other engine two stroke oil is old used recycled oil, which is good, you know, because you're reusing that stuff. Um, but for the health and life of the engines in, uh, you know, the equipment that I use every single day, definitely gonna be using this. And this is what I mix into the smaller gas can, one of these and two and a half gallons. So next that we got is the uh, cones. I got these from ballardinc.com. They've worked really well. A lot of the areas that I work in, parking can be kind of a premium. So if you pull up to a job and you have plenty of room behind you to get all your equipment out and then just someone out of the blue parks like two feet away from you, uh, it gets kind of frustrating when something like that happens. So it's nice to be able to have, you know, cones like this with you to where you can, you know, just pop it six feet behind your trailer and allow you enough room to, uh, you know, get your equipment in and out. I do put stickers on these, as you can see on uh, some of these, some of these stickers have worn off just because they don't stick very well. I'm getting more and more stickers and those are going to go on this cone. If you have any stickers and you want to do a sticker swap, uh, shoot me up on Instagram so we can uh, exchange those stickers. I also have the cone caddy from Ballard Inc. Just be able to pop those on there and uh, not have to worry about them being in the back of your truck and f uh, flying around and all that stuff. So next we have the uh, water that I take with me every day. Uh, I usually buy two to three bags of ice and that lasts me uh, a couple days. Helps keep you relatively cool. Also when you know you have ice cold water available to drink. These are uh, the Cujo Yardware Skag color scheme shoes. Um, I did have a pair not like these, but Cujo Yardware for the past two years. And they worked really well. They held up really well. Uh, the bottom was real grippy, didn't slide around, uh, kept the feet relatively uh, cool and dry. Um, so excited to have a new pair this year. Next, we have the hedge trimmers that I use. They are Milwaukee battery M18. This one I've had for a couple years now, and it's been really uh, great for me. I've been able to do a lot of uh, hedge and bush trimming jobs with this. Uh, it just was a little bit too cumbersome to actually maneuver and get into some of those tight spots where a smaller handheld one would be uh, way better to use. 
So I ended up picking this up uh, a few weeks ago. I've had a chance to use it a couple times and uh, I definitely like it. It's, it's uh, not too heavy, but one thing you don't really have to worry about is the gas and the fumes that you get when you're working in uh, some tight spaces. So it's definitely nice to have. The batteries do last quite a long time as well. So I don't have to worry about uh, running out of juice. I, had, I do have uh, two or three batteries total that I bring with me. So in case I am using it a lot, you know, I'll have backup power. I know this isn't exactly a lawn care trailer setup, but I actually do fit this on my trailer uh, with this board here. I just use a couple clamps and this is actually what I use to sharpen my blades. Uh, the All-American Sharpener, this is the 5005 Gen 2 series. Uh, this makes quick work of sharpening blades. I love it. And uh, I recommend you guys get one if you are looking to sharpen all your blades and have a nice straight edge and a nice sharp edge. I have the Green Touch Industry uh, trimmer and blower rack. These have been uh, really nice for me because I can keep my equipment from the back of my truck and rolling around and possibly getting broken uh, or even someone just like walking by and you know picking picking up my trimmer and walking off with it if you know if I'm in a backyard or whatever stays locked and secure and then here we have the blower rack the echo 9010 uh, seems to be a little bit too big for something like this so I'm actually going to be uh, in the market for uh, equipment defender I think that might actually work a little bit better for the 9010 just because instead of this thing right here that comes over and secures over the plastic housing of the air filter, it actually has a bar that would come between the uh, back plate of the blower and the uh, housing of the air filter. In my trunk, I actually carry a set of tools with me in case there might be a bolt or nut that comes loose throughout the day. Uh, so I keep this in there. That thing uh, back there is a measuring wheel. Sometimes I have customers, you know, wanting me to measure for mulch. So I'll use that uh, to measure off the areas and then, you know, come back and, and get them an estimate. This thing right here has saved me a few times. It's a Milwaukee compact inflator, battery powered. Uh, real easy just to, you know, take this, screw it into the tire and then turn it on. And then you can just, you know, increase the PSI and then press it and then it'll pump it up to 20 psi the only downside these batteries don't last very long um, so make sure it's uh, fully charged and possibly even keep a spare with you to keep all of my equipment secure and you know not moving around while i'm actually driving from yard to yard i ended up picking these up cargo buckle let me know if any of you guys use these um, they seem to be pretty solid, uh, plastic housing it looks like, but in the interior is uh, made of metal and stainless steel, I believe. Uh, hooks look pretty beefy. I think these one, yeah, 3,500 pound uh, strength. So that's gonna be more than enough to, you know, hold all of the stuff that I have on my trailer down. I'm gonna be putting them in uh, various parts of the trailer. So I have many different points to, you know, strap things down and stuff like that. All right guys, so this is uh, what everything looks like uh, actually strapped on and in the trailer. Uh, so obviously, you know, you can see the uh, 9010 here. It's, it's, it fits, but it's a little bit big. We got the trimmer right here. And obviously the mowers. Sometimes I put uh, the Xmark Commercial 30 actually in the front and then push the uh, 60 inch turf tracer kind of uh, against it so it keeps it from moving around i only do that if i have like uh, f uh where i can use the turf tracer on like the front and the back just so i'm not having to like you know take out and s 
you know, play carousel with mowers. All right, guys, that's it for this video. This is my 2022 lawn care setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are rocking this year. If you guys have any new equipment purchases uh, or if you guys are kind of rocking the same old equipment from last year. Me, I'm kind of rocking the same equipment as last year, but I do have big goals for this year, you know, to be able to purchase uh, newer equipment. Uh, hopefully one of these days, a new truck, uh, one that's a little bit bigger, I can, you know, put a plow on it and maybe some salt and stuff like that. And uh, up my snow game. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that like button if you could. I'd really appreciate it. Click the bell for notifications on when I do upload new videos and we'll catch you guys in the next one.